है फ्रॉम टी जेड या सो फेर इन आउट यू टी वी इन द मोर्निंग शो एंड यू राइट बैक विद गॉस प्राइम मिनिस्टर for today and today you are very much blessed i know you are very blessed wherever you are we want to welcome you once more once more to our show and i know it's going to be a blessing if in case you are tuning in for the first time this is how we do it every day or every week day from monday to friday you know it be in the morning show and it's a pleasure and it's a blessing to know that you tuned in this morning so without any other ado i'd just like to introduce my brother who is here with me i just to say his names and just to introduce himself and tell you about the lord has put in his heart and i know you're going to be blessed amen so good morning my able listener um i'm favor benedict serving as a youth as a minister at the office of an apostle I give God the glory for being here this wonderful morning to share with you what is in my spirit uh, from the word and from the mouth of God be blessed as you tune in from wherever you are and I know we shall be blessed together amen Yes um I want to speak about uh, the church on the cross the church on the cross um on the times we are living uh, on the times we are living the season we are living in i want to speak about the church on the cross the church on cross uh, a, a very a very a very wide topic uh, that we want to raise a concern concerning our ministry concerning our church in the land of kenya our church in the nation of kenya raising a point of view raising a challenge in the uh, in the uh, in the times that we are living today what is the church or what is the church of the cross in the in the uh, in our country kenya and where are we heading as a church where are we heading as a nation what do we need to do where do we need to go as a church of the cross uh, which is the church of the cross that we had in the days and the church of the cross that we have this day in the name of jesus christ and i want us to share in the book of uh, in the book of matthew chapter number 16 verses number 18 and 19 matthew chapter number 16 verses number 18 and 19 the church of the cross the church on the cross what do we need to know about the church of the cross what is all this about the church of the cross what are these uh, we are supposed to talk we are supposed to hear we are supposed to be revealed about the church of the cross yes matthew 16 verse 18 and 19 matthew 16 verse 18 and 19 or 16 18 and 19 says bible says and i tell you you are peter and on this rock i will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it and i will be and i say you are peter and on this rock i shall build the church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it or the hells of hell will not prevail against it i say you are peter before this jesus came to peter and said down uh, and said down and said down to peter from today you shall be called peter and on this rock i shall build my church and no the hells of hell shall not prevail against it the hells of hell shall not prevail against the church it is not about peter it is not on this rise not on this peter that i shall build my church but it is on the revelation of peter which is this revelation the bible says and jesus came to peter and said to peter and what does the what does people outside there say that i am and they said that uh, they say some of some of them they say that uh, that you are uh, that you are moses that you are that you are one of the prophets that you are isaiah and jesus turned to peter and said unto peter and what about you what do you say that i am and peter said you are jesus the messiah the sent messiah and jesus did not clap for peter jesus did not clap for peter jesus did not say congratulations to peter jesus said and and i say these have not been revealed to you by flesh and blood but these have been revealed to you by my father 
this made Peter to humble himself down because Peter asked himself, I am the one who had answered this question. Now, how does it, how can it be that it is not me, but it is the Father who has revealed to me? And now this is the revelation that now, the, this is the revelation that now the church will be built. Now, the church is not built on Peter, but the church is, is not even built on the rock, but the church is built on the revelation that people uh, that Peter gave the revelation that was revealed upon Peter now what do we have in the church of Kenya what do we have in the church of today what do we have in the church of the world today the church of the world today is led by is uh, is led by immorality is led by malice is led by envy is led by fights is led by battles we are we are in the battlefield as a church but i want to speak and i want to raise a, a voice and a concern and a apostolic and prophetic grace in the mighty name of Jesus that the nation, that the church of Kenya is coming to arise. The church of God is rising in the nation of Kenya in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The church which will be so much concerned with the welfare of men. The church will be which will, shall be so much concerned about the welfare, about the spirit of man, about the spiritual man. Oh, come on. The church of the Lord, the church on the cross, the that is the church that preaches love. It is the church that preaches oneness. It is the church that preaches about coming together in oneness. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. We are driving. What are, where are we as a nation? And I'm raising a concern about where we are raising as a nation. Where we are raising as a We are expecting. Um, that sometimes back, some years back, I, re, I think it was uh, uh, back then, 20, uh, 2020. God spoke to me and uh, he showed me a dream. And this dream was, uh, and this uh, because I was in, I was in prayer mountain concerning the church, concerning the church, concerning the body of Christ. And God told me, God came in a vision, uh, God came in a dream and told me, my son, stop now praying for the fathers, stop praying, praying for the church. And I asked God, why? And the Lord told me, my spirit have departed parted from the fathers of faith and now my spirit is coming to rest on the sons that are manifesting in the nation and that is what came to happen that is what came to happen if you realize in the nation of kenya those men of god that have influence that have worked But the fathers, the spirit of God was de uh, departed from the fathers of faith in the nation of Kenya. And I call upon the fathers of the faith in the nation of Kenya. May you arise and may you let the sons of God may you let your sons to manifest because the spirit of God have rested upon the sons and that is why we realize there is a revolution of sons that are rising with the purity of gospel with the true gospel that is coming to be preached and that is when and that is when now God will speak to men and women that are coming to arise in the generation of today we want to understand that even this day, if I look to the nation of Kenya, there is no a father in the of power, a gospel of love. There is no. It is only fights that are rising from one church to another, from one father to another. But we want to raise and we want to anchor the spirit of God that shall rise with, and the sons of God, the sons shall manifest, the sons shall arise with the gospel of truth, with the gospel of purity, with the gospel that will be shaking, will be shaking the principalities of the kingdoms of the darkness, will be shaking the principalities of the kingdom will be shaking the principalities that are reigning in the nation of Kenya. Praise God. Hallelujah. And that is why if today we if today I uh, if today I'll 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 try to make a research about the fathers of faith and then the nation of Kenya, then I'll realize there is not. I don't know some um 
there is a month ago i was asking god why does it happen when every father of the nation of kenya is falling you always reveal to me and i was asking god what do you always want to teach me what do you always want to teach me that when a father of the nation of kenya is is falling god must reveal to me and that is where we are today we are not derived we are not led by the spirit of god we are led, we are not led into preaching about the spirit of men we're not preaching about we are not preaching the spirituality of men we are preaching about the pockets of men and that is where the gospel is ruining and that is where the gospel is going astray let us stop as men of god i call on and i summon you let us stop preaching a message of prosperity let us preach a message of restoration let us preach a message of purity let us come back to god and tell god uh, we have gone in our own ways uh, we have gone in our own understanding we have gone in our own knowing now we want to turn on to you now we want to turn on to you and as we are turning on to you now what are we going to do we're going to pray for a spirit of revelation from the law a spirit of revelation from the law because now we have turned against uh, we have turned on our soul what we are preaching is our own understanding even the theology that are being taught in the kenyan today are not the only The theologies of Kenya today are the theologies of making businesses in the church of God. And I decree and I declare and apostolic and prophetic grace. May the thunder of God be about purity we are teaching about the ways of god we are teaching about the spirit of god oh shaka baganda bragaderia megades kama in the mighty name of jesus christ may the church of god arise with the fear and trembling may the church of god arise may the church of god arise may the church of the cross arise in the nation of kenya in eastern africa and in africa in the name of jesus christ for many years we have been preaching about a message of prosperity of pockets but i call on to you the men and women of god come and let us now preach a message of prosperity of souls prosperity of spiritual man prosperity of our hearts the purity of our hearts the purity of the gospel in the name of jesus christ we are living in a very hard time we are living in a very hard time and it is my prayer and has been uh, and i've been having a prayer for like uh, six months now because of a father of a nation a father of this nation that was that that, 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 that was uh, that was being seen like he can take the country somewhere but in the nation of kenya and i want to address this as a prophet whenever a man of god is rising up whenever a true man of god is rising up politics must rise up and this man of god must be uh, must be invited to these political meetings to preach this is not the way and i want to say politics and god will never work together politics and god will never work together it is not a time and we are living in a time where the altar has died the altar is not restoring the altar is not healing why is no why is the altar not healing because now we have in we have we are we we, we we have taken out we have replaced the arm of god we have replaced the altar of god with the altar of men and that is why the altar of today is not healing is not restoring why because we are we are we are living in a time as a church where we are honoring politicians more than we are honoring god to hell be with the politics to hell be with the politicians in the name of jesus christ in the altar we shall not preach politics we shall preach in the name of jesus we shall preach the fear of the lord the fear of the altar in the name of jesus christ as an apostle we have not been given a, a spirit of fear but we shall preach uh, the gospel of truth the reason as to why 
the altar is not healing the altar is not restoring is because we have allowed the politics to be spoken anyhow at any given time in the altar Eric can never be, Eric can never be, no matter who they are. And that is, uh, and what about the Church of the Cross? We, uh, we understand in the book of 1 Kings, we understand uh, that it is, uh, it is uh, Haman who came to Elijah. Rather, it is not Elijah who went to Haman. It is not our time. It is not our time. It is not, we cannot waste our time as men of God, as women of God, to go in palace. The palace supposed to come into the church. The palace needs to admit to the church it is not for us to admit under politics but it is the politics which needs to submit under the face of god under the authority of god in the name of jesus christ we are rich, we are living in a time we are living in a time we are living in a time wakati ambao ni wakati ambao ni wachungaji wanaenda kwa wanaenda wanaenda kwenye ikulu wanaenda kwa mikutano wa maraisa wanakuja na vipengele vyao wanakuja na vibarua vyao wanakuja na vibarua ambavyo vimejaa pesa hivyo ndivyo mumeuza kanisa wakati moja miezi ambayo imepita nikaulizwa na Mungu ni kwa nini mumekubali mkaweze kuuza kanisa la Mungu nililo nunuliwa na bei kali nililo nunuliwa na gharama kwa vipeni vidogo hivyo ndivyo hivyo ndivyo makuhani wameuza kanisa mikononi mwa wanasiasa na ninainuka katika upako wa mtume na nabii katika jina la Yesu Kristo kuinukia wale wote ambao mnauza kanisa na vipeni vidogo vidogo kanisa la msalaba kanisa la mkombozi kanisa la ukombozi ambalo lilinunuliwa na damu ya mwana ndo lilinunuliwa na Yesu Kristo halitauzwa na vipeni vidogo katika jina la Yesu Kristo ani nakataa shaka baganda baboria reka baganda bashata rabo lekelia bahanda lebrande lebra shakata leketos kata bahande lebra zekete kariga jina la Kristo Yesu hatutauza kanisa ni lazima tukatae kuuza kanisa ni lazima tutete kanisa ni lazima tusimame na kanisa na tuseme hiwe wewe ni rais ruto jina la Kristo Yesu ni kwa nini makuhani tumekubali kualika wanasiasa katika madhebahu wakakuja wakatia uchafu na unajisi kwenye madhebahu na ndio ndio sababu madhebahu hayaponyi tena hiyo ndio sababu madhebahu hayainui tena hiyo ndio sababu madhebahu hayana nguvu kwa sababu gani tuliuza madhebahu wakati tulikubali wakati tulikubali wanasiasa kuja kunena kariga madhebahu kunena uchafu kunena yasio mapenzi na mausia ya moyo wa Mungu hapo ndipo tulipopotea kariga jina la Yesu Kristo ni lazima turudi katika mapenzi ya Mungu ni lazima turudi katika mapenzi ya Jehova na tutakaporudi katika mapenzi ya Jehova kanisa la msalaba kanisa la ukombozi litainuka na litasimama ni lazima tusimame kwenye pengo la kanisa kuhubiri ukweli na kusema ukweli tutatetemesha misingi ya ulimwengu wakati ambapo tutobiri neno la ukweli wakati ambapo tutafundisha neno la kweli tuwache kupoteza kanisa tuwache kuuza kanisa na vipeni vidogo tuhubiri injili ya kweli na injili ya msalaba katika jina la Kristo Yesu mwana wa Mungu aliye hai ninataka kuomba kwa dakika moja Kanisa la Kenya likaweze kusimama. Kanisa la Kenya likaweze kufufuka mara tena. Kanisa la Kenya likaweze kuinuka mara tena. Garia jina la Yesu Kristo. Baba na Mungu wangu garia jina la Yesu inua katika inua kanisa la Kenya. Fufua kanisa la Kenya garia jina la Yesu likainuke, likawe na nguvu, likawe na uwezo na mamlaka. Garia jina la Yesu Kristo tumekataa kanisa la Kenya, kanisa garia nchi ya Kenya haitauzwa kwa vipeni vidogo. Kanisa la Kenya halitauzwa kwa mwanadamu lilinunuliwa na bei kali tunatangaza garia jina la Yesu wana wa Mungu wakainuke kutetea na kupigania kanisa kusema mausia moyo wa Mungu garia jina la Yesu inuka malaika mtakatifu wa Bwana inuka mtakatifu wa Israeli ukatetee na ukapigania kanisa kwa utukufu wa jina lako Mungu wa Israeli may the church of Kenya arise
arise. May the church of Kenya arise. May the true church of Kenya arise. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare as the church of Kenya, as the church of God is coming to arise, no heads of hell shall prevail against it. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bless you, my listener, and I bless the nation of Kenya. It shall arise, and the altar of Kenya shall arise and shall be revived in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, and amen. Wow, that was so powerful. Yes, yes that message was so deep Thank into you. our hearts. And I guess everyone who's listening and watching this morning has been blessed and has heard the word from the, from the seat of throne this morning. Man of God, we have traveled many kilometers from home this morning just to deliver what the Lord has put in his heart. It's a dishon honor for each and every one of us to hear what the Lord is speaking to us this morning. Amen. Amen, amen. Man of God. Yes. Uh, can kindly tell us where you fellowship at back uh, from where you're coming from? Yes. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. I'm Apostle Benedict. We are fellowshipping under, under, under an umbrella that is called Sound of Revival Ministries. Sound of Revival Ministries. We started, the, uh, we start, we started in Akuru as a Sound of Revival. And that is why we are preaching a message, a message of revival. Because now we are rising as a Sound of Revival to bring revival in the nation of Kenya. Amen. Amen. Yeah, and as a, as a young minister, as a young gospel minister, uh, how has it been the life in serving the Christ and serving Christ in as in, in young age? Um, serving in ministry as a as a young minister, it is uh, it is really a headache and it is really hectic because those who started the who those who started the message before us. They corrupted the message. They corrupted the former message. So uh, as, a, as, a, um, as a young ministers that are full of the glory of God and the power of God as they are rising, they need, they are, they need to clean the mess that before we preach and that is the uh, that is the hardest thing in the ministry today because we need to clean the father the weakness of our fathers because the fathers the spirit of god have departed from them whatever they are teaching for a young generation and for young ministers like me Amen, yes. amen. and when did it happen that you came to realize that you have the calling to be an apostle uh, in your life um it started so it started uh, in my in my early age in my early age i think um in from 10 uh, from 10 years from 10 years i was from 10 years of ministering because uh i had uh, i had a call in me i i never realized that then because uh, at then i uh, when uh, now this is a story that has uh, that was been given by my mother when I was uh, when I was uh, when uh, I was in uh, Umpa when now she, when she had my pregnancy now when she was carrying me a prophet came to her and said to her the baby that you are carrying is a man of God you shall not take him anywhere but take him to the altar because he's a man of God now they I, as as a man they despised the word and when they despised the man um uh, the, the 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 words of them of that ma of the prophet. Um, I'm born in Machakos, so you understand uh, that you understand the the, the 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 nature of Machakos. So I was I was taken to a witch doctor. I was taken to a witch doctor because I was uh, because I was I had a very uh, I, I was I was sick, so diarrhea and the problem with I uh, problem with the teeth. So I was taken taken to a witch doctor. When I was taken to a witch doctor, witch doctor when uh, when uh, when she was about to hold me. She started, uh, she, she started ailing from her hand. And so she had to let me go and said to, the ma to, say to my mother, no, don't bring me a disaster. This child does not belong to this altar. Take this child to where he belongs. And I was taken to, I was taken to the altar. The problem, I, um, I, had, uh, I had a diarrhea for more than eight months, eight continuous months, and non-stop crying. Now, to cut the story short, 
when my ma when my mother now came back to uh, came back to church a prophet another prophet now was uh, was uh, was, uh, was uh, commanded to come to church that is in machakos and when he came he never he never uh he never sat down he only came and said uh, allow me to do what god has sent me and uh, he took me by his arms and said from today your diarrhea has stopped and your cry has stopped and i commit you to this altar to be a man of god until the days of god and that is and uh, that is where my diarrhea stopped that is where my cry stopped and that is when i started ministry so i started ministry from my uh, from my my very little age and to this day amen amen yes. That's so amazing, man of God. Yes. Yes. We thank you. We thank you so much for being a blessing to us this morning. Amen. Thank you so much for having your time Amen. and for accepting the call of God to be on this altar just to deliver what the Lord has placed in your heart. You are really Amen. a blessing. Amen. And we pray that the Lord will take you to even other other levels Amen. in your ministry. Amen. Yeah, I don't know back back in your uh, home church if you have any of uh, of your friends or even members or even the elders over there, you can uh, or can get them on TV. Okay. Um, first of all, I wanna greet. Um, I wanna greet my mom. I wanna greet my father. My father, Reverend Joseph Kiyoko, Redeemed Gospel Church, Machakos, Nayo, the Worship Center. Then I wanna greet my biological mother, Pastor Elizabeth. May God bless you. Um, may God do you good. I want to greet my sister Rose, Flower Rose. May God do you good. I want to greet. Uh, I want to greet Apostle Peter, Noble Generation. We have a Kesha in Noble Generation. Ivasha this coming Friday. Stay tuned. Thank you, Apostle Peter, and all my friends and my my sons and daughters, sons as uh, my sons and daughters from Sound of Revival Ministries. You're watching. May God bless you. All my friends from Naivasha from Kilifi, from Mombasa, Malindi, uh, those who are watching from, uh, from, from uh, um, uh, the rights of Margaret from Japan, those who are following Kezia from Saudi Arabia, those who are watch watching from other, uh, other different countries that are my followers and my friends, may God bless you, you are greeted, I really honor you. Thank you so much. Amen, amen. amen. Yeah, looking on the, what's on the Facebook, let's see who has been watching us and how they are reacting to the message. This morning, there's Rosalinda Nyagasi saying, Be blessed, Mtumishi. Saying that was very powerful. I thank you so much, Rosalinda Nyagasi, for your message. Goes ahead and said, uh, uh, says, Amen, Amen, Amen. Mm -hmm. So many, many, many comments from Rosalinda Nyagasi. Thank you. Saying the church of God be restored. Amen. Powerful sermon. Mm -hmm. Just saying, um, There's uh, Rachel Muniva. I can see you are watching us this morning. Wow. Clement Rapadu Kwe you saying Amen, Amen. That amen. is my son. God bless you. Uh, Clement is watching us this morning. We thank you, Rosalinda. Thank you so much for your for your comments. Thank you so much for your for for the reaction that you have towards the the, the, the word of God this morning. I hope you've been blessed. And whoever else who have been tuned in this morning, we thank God for you. You are a blessing. And let let's implement. I mean, uh, let's implement this word that the Lord has brought to us this morning Amen. and to the church. And the church of God will be at its right place. Amen. Amen. Uh, as you went up, man of God, where can you find you on the social media platforms? Like, if you want to follow you, um, there is much that uh, there is much that is coming. There is much uh, that is coming. Uh, le allow me to share this. Yes. I have three. I have three big topics that have been troubling me, and uh, um, and I wish to address them. And I pray and I request uh, you are there. You can uh, you can be my partner. It will be. Uh, that are disturbing uh, the nation of Kenya, Africa, and the whole world at large. Number one is that topic, the, uh, the Church of the Cross. It is a very wide topic that I uh, will want to teach. Number two is I have an issue about... Uh, LGBTQ, lesbianism and gayism, a spirit that have risen in a very high rate in the whole world. I have all the answers. You are a lesbian, you are a gay, don't fear. We, in the times we are living, the reason as to why generation is rotten is because we have a lot of men and women who are so much judgmental than giving a listening ear. Let us give them a listening ear. They are gays, they are gays. The, 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 the Lord that we serve 
has love to all and to everyone. Let us give them a listening ear and let us start uh, the journey of healing from there. And number three, uh, number three. Now we are uh, number three topic that we are that, that now we are we are really looking uh, we are really looking onto is the right of a boy child. The right of a boy, the boy child doesn't have right in the nation of Kenya, in Stan Africa, in Africa, no boy child that have, have their rights. And we want to, uh, I want to raise this topic and a concern. Let us speak about, uh, let us speak about the boy child. There are many men that are going through hell in the hands of women. There are many men that are going to hell, but as a community, the face we have a community, when a man talks about how he's being abused or harassed, we take that man as a weak man. No one is weak. Let us hear them. They are men that are really going through hell. So if you are there, my Facebook page is Favor Benedict. You will find my Facebook page as Favor Benedict. Other pages, I uh, other pages, I uh, I will not say them right now because uh, they are something that we are we are cooking to come up to 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 come up. But uh, follow Favor Benedict in Facebook, and uh, from there we shall give you the other social handles. May God bless you. Amen. Thank you so much, man of God. Amen. Yeah. So we come to the end of our show today. Um, I thank, I thank each and every one of you for your time, for keeping it even on TV and for watching HPTV in the morning show. I have been your own VDJ Rixo, yeah, and I have been with my HPTV in the morning crew, uh, the our producer and the director, Toko Felix, who is sitting for Kangwano Yaro. Thank you so much, man of God, and the head of the transmission team at Nixon Omondi. We thank you, man of God. To our headboard manager at Masi Gudoi, we thank you. And to our CEO at Bishop Reverend James Kudewe Songa, we love you, man of God. The entire Pefakimbo Church family, we love you. The entire HPTV in the, form fam uh, HPTV in the morning family, we love you. And above all, we give all the glory and honor to the Almighty God for giving us a chance to minister and to be alive on this day to glorify His name. So may the Lord do you good. See you tomorrow. Oh, it's going to be throwback Thursday. you at HPTV in the morning show. Don't you miss. May the Lord do you good. And now, as we finish, let's share the word of grace. And now, by the grace of our Lord and Jesus then, Christ and, and the love of Jesus. God. And, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, Spirit be with us now and, and forevermore. forevermore. Amen. 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 Amen.